the 1st of January, 2022. Yeah, it's the first Saturday wrap of 2022. Looks out a window, grey sky, very mild, not raining. Anyway, so this is a look back on the last week of 2021 and the things that happened, mainly on leave. Anyway, start off with the regulars. Ah, uh, word or phrase of the week. I was going to say this is something that's uniquely Welsh. I'm thinking uniquely British. Killer squirrels. A squirrel in North Wales that attacked 18 people in two days and then got euthanized. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was a grey squirrel before anyone asks, and I'm not keen on them. But why? <laughs> Had he been out on the ale? Um, why wasn't he locked down? Um, where was Mr. Drakeford and all of this? He should have been there. Quiet with the politics. Oh, yeah, beer. St. Peter's Whiskey Beer, 4.8% alcohol by volume, given to me by a colleague in work who asked if I'd try it. Okay, so he couldn't detect any whiskey. There's a slight bit of whiskey in the nose. The body is malty and smoky. Although I've seen people say they couldn't detect much of the smoke. It is smoky. And then it's slightly bitter and there's just the merest hint of whiskey in the finish. If you're after a beer that tastes of whiskey, you're probably going to be disappointed. Be plus and a bit. 3.3 .3 out of 5 on the untapped scale and I'm a hard marker. Okay. No, it's not my beer of the week. Anyway, so my app of the week is the Apple Home app, which ties in with my thing of the week, um, which is the Miros, Meros? Meros smart Wi-Fi plug. Okay, so the plug is HomeKit, and HomeKit devices show up mostly in the Home app. And it's just really easy. You just scan a QR code, give it a name, or just leave it with the default name. And generally speaking, unless you're in Ireland, it's done. And it was done. And it's easy to control them. And you create rooms and scenes and automations based on various triggers and such like. Um, and I like it. And I think I've mentioned before, these Miros smart plugs, HomeKit versions, which have now sold out in China. I wouldn't mind getting another one, to be perfectly honest. I am very impressed with. Okay, so what happened in the week? Well, generally speaking, and let's have a look at the weather. It was grey, it rained a lot, and it was the mildest New Year in... I don't know that I can remember anyway. It's very mild now, uh, and the rain has stopped, um, but there's no breeze, so it's not good drying weather. Yeah, you still have to dry clothes, even though it's a new year and all that sort of stuff. Hmm. Okay, um, so Christmas, this time last week, as in the year before, it was a streaming Christmas. I didn't watch any terrestrial TV at all. Usually, possibly just a bit of the news, but I got the news from the internet and the radio and Twitter. Yeah, news from Twitter, eh? What a corker. Ah, uh, and it was five days off. Well, it was a Saturday and Sunday and three days, and it kind of just disappeared. Um, I went to see my father and Anne on the um, Boxing Day Sunday. I hadn't seen them for two years um, due to the, uh, the Rona. Um, they're in rude health. And uh, they had some, they weren't there homemade pickled onions, but homemade pickled onions. And they were deliciously crunchy. The problem with bought pickled onions is they're big and such like, but they're not crunchy and they're a little bit soft and disappointing. 
Still, it was nice to see them, um, and I've been ordering seeds like the wind. Some of them have already arrived, um, and it won't be long before the seed potatoes arrive, and I will be starting to chit. Chit like the wind. Ah, right. Um, okay. So also on Boxing Day, as we are semi-locked down uh, on order of the Welsh Assembly Government, I know they're the Welsh Government, but they are really the Parish Council, uh, Caffili RFC, 49 people along the touchline. They could have had 50, but the rules said 50 max, and 140 in the club, either watching out of the window or on the CCTV. Yeah very unimpressed with those rules um grassroots club boxing day it would have been safer to have everyone outside along the touchline um in the rain and such like um and when asked about it um uh, mr drakeford was very disingenuous saying that they were probably trying to get around the rules and whatever no they were your rules you didn't think them through. Uh, it's far too easy to make broad bash statements and whatever. Oh, in other news about that, both Mr. Drakeford and Nicola Sturgeon have been banned by J.W. Lees of Manchester from all their pubs. This happens a lot, you know. The hospitality industry are not best pleased. Um, I think in England they even semi like Boris, who's gone a bit quiet to be perfectly honest, um, except saying booster, booster, booster. Um, yeah. Right. Um, uh, uh, mm, prime video. Prime video football. Prime video watching the Spurs. Actually, really rather good. And since I don't have BT Sport or Sky Sports, I don't often get to watch um, football in 1080p. That's one thing I need to think about. Do I need a 4K TV? Uh, yes, basically. Because um, my box will support it and my bandwidth will support it, but it was good. And it is the beautiful game. And it is the thing at Christmas. I can remember going down to, well, it was Ninian Park then, and watching them on Boxing Day and getting freezing cold or wet and all that sort of thing and not being able to see much, but it is the beautiful game. Talking of the beautiful game, Cardiff lost 3-0 on Thursday night, but what can you do? Um, back to work on Thursday, not many in. Um, lunchtime in the tumble, which is now um, you have to sign in, um, although I use the app, the Weatherspoons app, um, and it's table service. Um, the only issue with the using the app is that not all the guest ales, or any of the guest ales, are actually on the app. They need to look at that. Um, but they do give you little cards which you can put up and say, I need serving. And the staff are great. And wearing masks. And you have to wear the mask while moving around, but when you're sitting down, you're fine. Mm. And um, thank you to all the staff in the tumble. You were really good. Really, 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 really good. Um, yeah, and uh, okay, so before you go out to take a lateral flow test, Everyone wants a lateral flow test. They run out. Wales loans four million to England. I doubt if they'd want them back when they're finished with them, but there you go. They were bought by the UK government, of which Wales is a part in the first place. It's nothing special. PPE and such like has been loaned each way since this Rona thing started. But boy, the politics are kicking in. They really are. Wales saving England. However, four million aren't going to last long. Definitely not going to last long. But what can you do? Um, and on um, New Year's Eve, there was a rumour that uh, our First Minister, Mr Drakeford, was uh, seen checking into the Hilton in Bristol. A couple of hours later, the Welsh Assembly Paris Council uh, were on Welsh uh, Wales Online. Uh, that's their organ of choice, denying it, denying it strongly. Didn't actually say where he was, though. 
I would have thought he would either be at home with family or working hard, working on our safety at a Welsh Assembly premises. Although, who knows, because he's supposed to be at home. He can't work from work anymore, not in Wales, sarcastically. But there you go. Um, and finally, well, semi-finally, in the week, there was an emergency timetable on the trains. Um, I think not just because of people isolating due to COVID, um, but due to the, and this is mentioned quite a lot because I get updates from them, um, more than normal trains requiring attention. Those X319 classes that go up the Rumney Valley and break down at Astra Monaco Flambradac. Well, anyway, so in the week, emergency timetable. This morning, we have an emergency timetable on the emergency timetable, which means those people who rely on the trains to get to work, snookered, completely snookered, really snookered. Hmm, I don't trust them anymore. You can't trust them. Anyway, so... New Year's resolutions. Um, stop using my Xiaomi MyPad 3. Done that. That was really easy. And um, I need 200 new unique beers. I think I'm already up to 15. I sort of started a bit before the new year. And I've got leave booked for the week after next. I don't know if I'm going to go away. Certainly not going to go away to Wales because, you know, but I have a feeling there might be restrictions in England coming in. You're never sure. Um, play it by you. That's the main thing. Want to go to Stroud. Want to go back to Gloucester. Definitely want to go back to the Pelican. They seem to have a shed load of new beers in. Oh, and the Hereford Beer House. Johnny has now gone. It's going to reopen at the end of the month, possibly, or early next month. And the new manager owner is, I think he's an ex-brew dog manager from Oxford. Looking forward to trying that out, to be perfectly honest. I'm looking forward to be knowing. I'll probably be skinned, but... That won't be anything new. Anyway, um, happy and safe and prosperous and enjoyable new year. With a bit of luck, less rain, and bye-bye. You know where to comment. <laughs>